everyone, this is Phantom Celebi, and I wanted to talk about a pilot that I saw. It was for a show called Has Been Hotel, and I thought to myself, it'd be kind of fun to try to see if I can make at least the aesthetics of these characters into a sim. So I didn't want to go for exact, because like, I don't think you could find exact, because how detailed these characters are in their art, like, there are different types of things that <laughs> naturally a person just wouldn't have. The cartoon style for this particular pilot is very cartoony to the point where some things just couldn't be recreated in a game like this, which is generally a life simulator, even with mods. Unless the mods are specifically made to look like the has-been hotel characters. But I'm looking at the characters and I think to myself, well, at least... I can make somewhat a, of a depiction of their aesthetics, so I thought it would be kind of fun. And I think I did a pretty good job, despite the fact that some of the colors aren't perfect, and some of the things just aren't exactly the same, but I felt like it would be kind of fun. So I picked four of the characters from the pilot, which were- because this, you know, this pilot had a lot of characters. I was originally going to do um, a character called Katie Killjoy, and I thought she'd probably be a really fun character, but then I thought to myself, what are the more recognizable characters? And that would be Alistair, Angel, and um, I think her name is Vaggie, Vaggie and uh, Charlie. Th those are the four main characters from the pilot, and I mean, there was a few other characters that were pretty cool, but they didn't really get fleshed out like these characters did. Like, with the Alistair, he, he had a full-on backstory. Then we had uh, Angel, who basically had tons of details spread across the entire pilot. Then, we don't know much about Vaggie, but we know for a fact that she's friends with Charlie, who is the Princess of Hell. We know that her and Charlie are potentially lesbians based off of Katie Killjoy's reaction. And if you don't want to hear more about that, I would say watch the pilot before I continue with this video because like, I guess part of this would be spoilers if you haven't actually seen Has Been Hotel. And it's a pretty fun watch if you ask me. It does have a little bit of an issue when it comes to, like, sound effects. I would say there is a little too many. Certain things really didn't need a sound effect, and it was just kind of oddly placed. Like, at one point, uh, Charlie, she drops a donut onto the floor, and it makes, like, the sound of a squeak toy. And I'm like, really? Why would the donut make a squeak toy sound? Whew! Wow, it's just like, <laughs> it was pretty funny. So while I was making this, I thought to myself, the first character I would make is Angel. But Angel is kind of a difficult character to make. I'm not gonna lie, because there was a lot of details put into Angel specifically. Angel has this sort of both way going fl floppy hair, and these big eyes, and this big expression full smile you know, freckles, and tons of arms, and like, different shades of like, pink, and different things of gray. Also, with every depiction of Angel, he looks a little different, so it's kind of unusual. So with Angel, I tried my best to at least sort of match the general color scheme I saw from Has Been Hotel, and from the little images I've seen which is sometimes he had dark colored gloves, sometimes he didn't have dark colored gloves. For most of the pilot, he had pink gloves, but I couldn't actually recreate that. So what I did was I used the colors that was on his gloves and along his outfit as part of his shirt and part of his makeup. I wanted to give him that sort of feminine look and I felt like I did a pretty good job with that I gave him an overall feminine look, along with giving him sort of that sort of stage performer slash, I would say, <laughs> sex performer vibe that I think 
that's what he was going for. I went for, like, fishnets and all that. And then the next character, when I went to Alistair, um, I don't know if this is going to show up in order in the video, but I figured I'd just talk about it. So for Alistair, yet again, I went more for colors and aesthetics. Like, for Alistair, he had that sort of, I don't know, I guess homey, old school vibes, like radio announcer, you know, <laughs> basically something you would see in, like, the 1920s. Very much sort of uh, dark and mysterious, but still kind of interesting. I went for giving him still sort of a cartoony characteristic, but also sort of like I wanted to make him definitely look more masculine than I did Angel. So for Angel, I went for more feminine, but what I felt when I saw, you know, when I saw Alistair, I felt he had a more masculine vibe. So Angel, despite him and Angel having very similar body types, I gave them sort of the same body type, but not really. I gave him the more masculine version of that body type. Then for the character Vaggy, I kind of gave her this sort of uh, purely white, but also you know, gray and white and different colors going throughout her outfit. Mostly white though, because that was the main color that went through her from what I saw. She had like long white hair. She had a white and grayish dress. She had like these little X things by her breasts. And I couldn't actually do that, which I felt a little bad because it would have been nice to actually be able to recreate that, but I couldn't. I liked that character because I felt she can be viewed as basically everything that people are annoyed by when they, you know, watched anything from Tumblr or all that, but it seems like she was done very well. And it's kind of funny. Um, the last character I did was, uh, obviously Charlie. I felt like she kind of, like, despite they, them giving her a ton of spotlight, there's still very much a bit of a mystery with her. Like, why is she the way she is? What happened with her parents? Why aren't they around? Why does nobody in Hell care about the royalty of Hell? And overall, it seems like nobody seems to be listening to her. And is it because of her age? Or is it just because Hell has gone, you know, down in Hell, basically, ever since the King and Queen haven't been around? Because obviously there was some sort of monarchy, but nobody respects the princess, mainly probably because she's really young and has very weird views about things. Um, I think that is the good basis for this series. I don't want to give away too many details because I feel like it would kind of kill the point of watching the pilot. But you get to meet all these fun characters. Also, you get to be meet Katie and Tom and I think one of the characters I thought was kind of cute but also a little insensitive was a character named Nifty, and <laughs> she was incredibly adorable. But I didn't want to make her because I think I would have had to make a child to make her, because I was gonna go for body types, you know, ranging around the way they looked in the pilot, and <laughs> it would have been really hard to recreate a child with that type of body. But yeah, so I think I'm just gonna end this here. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, comment, and subscribe for more spastastic content. And I'm gonna try to post more. I would say more throughout the week. I feel like I have said this before, but it's really hard for me to actually keep up with stuff. And at the end of the day, I'm trying my best to keep up not only this channel, but work on ideas for Reddit Reads and kind of do more stuff with the community. And the thing is, is I'm into so many things, I never know what I want to make. I can make things that are informative, I can make things that are fun, zany, and I would say if you guys want something to be made into a video, that would really help me out if you just told me in the comments. 
And I would just, I would read it and it would help me <laughs> so much because I have so many ideas just popping in and out of my head. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you soon. Peace, goodbye. Mwah. <laughs> it's time once again for the Phantom Squad top tier. These are for the people who are awesome sauce. And I know that you guys have heard this every single time you've seen my video, but to be honest, I feel like these people definitely do deserve the appreciation and love and respect that I give them because they have been there for me throughout everything. They are my friends, they have supported me through Patreon and all that, and I appreciate it. The fact that I'm going over 200 subscribers now and really developing my channel really does touch me because it really does make me feel like you guys care. So continue watching and if anything, like, I will update this at some point, but these are the people who have been true blue there for me throughout everything. And the few that are bigger YouTubers, they've actually been very supportive to me in the past. They've talked to me, they've done all this stuff, like Veggie Gamer and Bay Shaman. They've been very sweet with me, giving me advice, doing things with me. They've really- ha I think the two of them have been very good to me. And that's why they're on this list. So, here's to you, Jazz the Chameleon, Potato underscore a bunch of numbers, Edie Rose 23, uh, Cute Girl Sim, Calorie underscore Aiken, Malunix 5, Carissa Sims, Benjamin GYT, Lovely Laura, Veggie Gamer, Bay Shaman, EJ Black Dove, Trippy D, Ray of Sunshine X1, Sonic Jenny, Ship D, Kaleida Sims, Prismatic Simmer, Sims Lena, Stray Shadow Cat, Sims Lita, and Josh CHG. Hope to see you guys in the next video, and if you guys want to keep up with all my endeavors and beyond, follow me on Twitter, and all my social networks will be in the description, and I will see you soon. Peace.